I love wilderness places. I love natural areas. Um, Zion has just been so different for me. I've never had um, something that had the combination of desert, riparian, hanging gardens, and of course these major towering cliffs all, all around you. Hi, I'm Roxanne Everett. I'm the April artist in resident uh, at Zion National Park. Uh, I'm a landscape painter and my process is kind of twofold. I consider myself a studio painter, um, but part of my process is getting outdoors, taking photos, absorbing the colors, absorbing what I'm seeing outside, and then bringing those things back into the studio. The sketches actually are really helpful to remind me what I saw when I was outside, what shapes I found inspiring or what colors I found inspiring. I frequently um, will use those for a little while while I'm developing the painting and very quickly I'll get rid of them and I'll just follow through with what the painting is telling me where it wants to go. I tend to work in layers of, of color, uh, layers of paint, so I feel pretty free at various points in time to um, make a certain pattern or a certain shape and if I don't like it it's not a big deal I can change it quite easily because I'm building up these layers because the paint dries quickly uh, so that's a real advantage for me here sometimes those patterns are actually making the background more interesting it's uh, more in the in-between places versus the focal point of a painting these patterns kind of you know bring life to the quieter or less fo focused area of a painting. Here everything is sharper and more jagged, um, but the colors um, are amazing and different. The reds, the blue sky, and they're very vibrant colors, and so that's always inspiring. The towering cliffs, the formations are, are incredibly inspiring. Uh, the other day I went over to the east side of the park where I'd been before, there it's a little blonder rock and the, the rocks are more rounded and softer uh, and I enjoyed getting out of the car and walking on some of that rock and you can just kind of effortlessly walk up the rock and, and, and there you start to see some of these craggy trees that are um, poking up out of the rock and you can't imagine why they're growing there but they are. And I knew then that there were gonna be several paintings that were gonna arise out of this idea of these plants that can just exist seemingly where there's no other soil, just rock. Um, there's some subjects that I might not personally find as inspiring, um, but I've, I'm, I'm wondering if I should play with them, and one of them is the turkeys. The turkeys are hysterical, um, so I did do one little sketch of a turkey, and I just, I think they're just absolutely hysterical. I find them hilarious. Um, I've worked for several national parks in the past, and those were among the best jobs. They were the best jobs I've ever had. I, I have a background in forest ecology, so I'm very interested in how uh, ecosystems act and how they, how different plants might interact with other plants. And, and somehow expressing that uh, through my work. You know, you get to know a place really well. Um, for me, it'd be Western Washington. And you kind of stop seeing things at some point. So for me, being here, this is all brand new. And then when I go home, it's like things are new again. And I like that.